Hey everyone, it's Andrew here from MAO Magic with the new iPhone 6 Plus leather case from Apple. So Apple kind of introduced around four cases basically uh, to the, the leather for the 6 and the 6 Plus and then silicone for the 6 and 6 Plus as well. So today we have the more high-end one, the leather case. And we got it in black, though it does come in a multitude of colors, such as black, brown, blue, uh, light pink, and a red, I believe, a product red edition. And then there's the silicone ones as well. But we're going to go ahead and focus on the leather one here today. So we're going to compare this most closely to the last leather case that Apple came out with, which was for the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5. So again, they both have the kind of standard uh, microfiber on the inside and the really soft, plush Nappa leather style on the outside. One big change is the bottom part has been removed on the new iPhone 6 and 6 Plus case, which is actually a really good thing because if I had one complaint about the original case that they came out with was that bottom part. It was really tight around the headphone jack and even with my smaller like Bose headphones, barely fit as well as this little crack right here around the lightning port. Those were the only two problems that I ever had with the actual Apple case. So now that those are gone on this new edition, I'm very happy. Again, the inside is just going to be standard microfiber, which can help keep your phone nice and clean from scratches. I know a lot of cases that are hard have like seams on the inside. It can actually cause scratches. There's almost no visible plastic on this at all, except for right there around the camera lens. You can see the Apple logo is kind of depressed into the back. On the sides, we have here the power button, which is now on the right-hand side, as well as on the other side, we have the hole for the toggle switch for the... Uh, mute button and then we have the up and down volume keys which have been changed to be more similar to the iPod touch and the iPads so they're a little bit elongated and not so round now it is a bit thinner so as you know the you may know the iPhone 6 and 6 plus are now 7.1 millimeters and 6.9 for the 6 which is down from the 7.9 Eight, I believe that it was for the 5s so as you can see here it's ever so slightly thinner than the old case and this is predominantly due to two parts not only is the phone slimmer but as you can kind of tell the case itself is a little bit slimmer on the back which is kind of cool because you really don't need a thick back and it's still going to protect when especially when it's on the phone itself but the edges are still thicker so the edges are going to protect from the drops the backs going to protect from scratches and stuff like that um, but basically it just allows it to be a little bit thinner in your hand, which is kind of cool. So I, I was very appreciative of that, even though when you kind of hold it by itself, it feels a little bit flimsy, but I know once you have it actually on the phone itself, it'll be much better. We are going to do a follow-up review to this. We'll post it up uh, as soon as we actually have a 6 or a 6 Plus in-house to test as those will be launching this Friday on the 19th. Other than that, uh, there are some instructions here if you really need those, but I'm assuming it'll go on pretty easily as the old one did. If you have any more questions, throw them up in the comments. Make sure you subscribe, and I will see you all next time.